Oh my god, this is creeping me out. Here it begins! Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> We are in Pyramiden, the town that once was a booming coal mining village with a population of 1500 people, is now a ghost town. This video is the second part of our visit in this abandoned Soviet town, so do watch the first part to get a better idea of the history of Pyramiden. There is something so eerie but at the same time fascinating being in this place. All around you are these buildings that from the outside look perfect but on the inside are taken over by birds or covered in a thick layer of dust. The town has become like a grand museum, where you can walk through the streets and imagine what life must have been like here decades ago. The grass was imported from Ukraine, the buildings feature Soviet-era architecture and bear witness to the settlement's golden days. Christopher and I had an amazing lunch at the hotel, and now after filling up with all that energy and Russian beer from Barnesburg, it is time to hike the mine gallery. This long wooden structure leads all the way up to the mine shaft at the top, and I'm going up there, alone. Well, yeah, I'm Grim is coming with me, but I mean that is basically alone, because that boy would leave me in a heartbeat if things got scary. And I have a feeling things are gonna get scary. <laughs> so, let's go. Hey. Hey, Bujungye? Hey, Bujungye? It's good to me, Do you want to stay here and put me down? Yeah, what? Crazy. What? 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 Now we are heading to this one and I'm gonna hike up as far as I feel like is possible today and Christopher's just gonna sit at the bottom I think. So that is what we're doing right now. Look at this place. In the middle of nowhere is like this beautiful kind of area and what they also did is they imported this grass from Ukraine so they always tell you in the tours to not step on the grass because they want to keep it this way <laughs> so they have like proper I also know that they had tulips at one point it's like the only place in Svalbard or the Arctic that they planted tulips and they survived in the summer. It's so crazy to walk through like a full village and it's empty and all just boarded up on the doors and everything. And to know that once this was like a bustling little town with like kids and people working and families and it was supposed to be this amazing place that everybody would come and you know love to stay in and we were in like Svalbard we're on a an island in the Arctic in the middle of nowhere and this whole society was built here I mean of course it's I guess it's a bit like Longyearbyen but it doesn't have a proper airport. It's a lot further away from, you know, like a main hub. But also, of course, if they would have stayed here, I guess, maybe they would have built that after a while. It's just so crazy. And now it's all empty, nothing here, but it's all left. And like the houses are in near, not perfect condition, but still very good condition considering. And like, we have a statue here of, I'm gonna say it's Lenin. Yes, it's not Stalin, it's Lenin. I have to do, double check this. 
it's just and then you have the magnificent Nordenskjöld glacier in the background just lining this whole place up and it's all empty by the start of what they call the gallery so we're gonna hike up the mountain and I'm so excited for this I wanted to do this every single time I've been here but I've never had enough time to so today because I can imagine the view up there is incredible and right now where we're walking there's so much coal on the ground so much and look at this house I wonder what this was before it looks like quite n like it was once very nice and a bit fancy but I must say there's like there's no rubbish in that way yes there's a lot of old building materials but there's no like plastic not a lot of it anyway so they're keeping this place very clean which is of course, very nice Whew. and our lunch at the hotel was so good the food was amazing the prices are insane it was so cheap but the food was amazing, service was incredible, the coffee, everything, the, it was just such a good time. So I can't wait to come back here more. I feel like we should go here a few times per year. I haven't been here now in like two years, but sometimes that happens. But now I'm gonna head over there to go in to this gallery and go all the way up the mountain. I'm very excited to see about the view and also about how much cardio this is gonna be. <laughs> Let's see. So I'm gonna leave my backpack down here because it's heavy, but it looks quite dark in there. So I think I'm gonna bring, I think I had a headlamp in here. So I'm gonna bring that. This is gonna be scary, Grim. Christopher's not coming with us. Oh my God, my beanie is gonna get so dirty here. taking this is this working <laughs> it's such a crappy one it's gonna be good okay some power are you ready for this i think you are okay. christopher you're gonna stay down here right yep there's an emergency imagine i don't need the gun do i no no i'm in a mine shaft imagine uh. if there's like a photo brand there like chilling. We only have one gun. Are you gonna take the gun or am I? I'll take the what the signal pistol. I'll take the flare gun. Cause then I at least I have something. All right, we are ready to go, and I'm gonna bring you guys this camera. Okay, so we're heading in here, me and Grim, in this to go up the mountain in a mine shaft. Is it a mine shaft? A mine gallery? I don't know, they call it the gallery. Why am I getting nervous? <laughs> All right, let's rip off the band-aid. We're going. Move it to child, faster. Oh my, this is so nice. We're gonna have to do this double speed grim if Christopher's gonna not get bored. The fact that I'm doing this on my own, oh my god, this is creeping me out. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> I usually like, I'm not like easily scared, but this is freaking me out. Come, Grim. There's so many noises. 
Jesus. Okay, and like glass in some places and oh my god, I have a heartbeat of like 4,000. Why am I, oh my god. No, here it begins. Why does it feel like I'm on a roller coaster? Okay, this is so dramatic of me. It's just a workout, it's just a workout. This is epic. Oh my God. Here it begins. This is so cool. Oh my God. Grim, that is not water to drink, but sure. Oh, this is going to be a workout. Oh, yeah. We're at the first stop. walk down this maybe just plant your heels oh it's a good workout okay we have to go do this fast oh my God. I would say that we are about halfway up or more in 10 minutes and I've identified the most scary thing and that is having to go down again <laughs> it's freaking me out I'm sweating so much and also, it's extremely disorientating. Disorienting, huh? I'm disoriented. <laughs> because it feels like the whole thing is moving, even though I'm sure it's not. <laughs> and like, I feel like I'm gonna lose my balance all the time. <laughs> but I'm just holding on and sweating my way up there. I can, I think I can see the top because it feels like we're quite far up. But I'm dreading having to go down because I don't know, it just, it just looks scary. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna have to keep on going. So we get up there and down fast because this is freaking me out. Pira Milen was considered a good place to be. Through the 1960s, 70s and 80s, work in the mines of Pira Milen was very popular. The workers had a contract period of two years and the wages were decent. Employment in any of the Russian settlements in Svalbard was sought after and every job had many applicants. But the 1990s are remembered as a terrible time for the Russians on Svalbard. Every year, the Soviet mines on Svalbard ran a deficit, and Trust Arktikogel lost money. The coal was poor quality, and it was not profitable. When the Soviet crash came, the company could not afford to sustain both settlements, Pyramiden and Barnsberg. There are several reasons for why Pyramiden, and not Barnsberg, was chosen to be abandoned. Although Pyramiden was a newer and better maintained city, the coal there was almost entirely depleted, and Trusk Arktikogel would have had to dig deeper to access another deposit, an expensive and impractical endeavor. Therefore, the coal mining in Pyramiden was discontinued in 1998, and the village was abandoned. Oh, 
Okay, it's just a little bit more, but I think we're just gonna stop here because there's something blocking the way up there. Oh, how sweaty. Look at the view. Twenty-three minutes so far. That's pretty good. I feel like I want to go further up, but there's something in the way. We're gonna have to go check it out. I cannot leave without going all the way. Grim, you're doing great. We made it. Oh my gosh. 30 minutes to the top. So. Oh, fuck. Oh my god. Okay. This has to be it, Grim. Now we have to turn now. Turn back. Come. Can't go further. So that's it. Yeah. You did great. You're so good. Wow. This was cool. Just have to go down now. Oh my god, it scares me. Okay, I'm just gonna have to plant your heels. Just go. Grim, you athlete, I'm sorry there's no more for you to hike. Oh gosh. This was cool though. Such a good workout, such a cool place. Terrifying because it feels like it's gonna fall apart. But you know. Oh my god. Okay, let's go. No problem. What was I freaking out about? Speedy, speedy. Yeah, what did you see here? Wow. It's pretty cool. We are almost down now. Pretty. Looks like we're high up. Are we, are we not done soon? <laughs> This was super easy, of course. I was just being dramatic for nothing. It just looks scary, but it's very, very easy. It's using maybe muscles that I usually don't use though, so I, I'm gonna be sore and I'm sweating. But I think it's taking like maximum 10 minutes to get down and it took 30 minutes to get up. So we're just, you know, running down here. But such a cool experience. 10 out of 10, we'll do this again. But it's cardio level 10 out of 10. There's a lot of ratings here, but yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna concentrate on... Oh, we're coming down now! Yeah. This? Wait, no, we're not at the bottom. Oh. Oh yeah, wait, yeah, this is where it started. <laughs> well, this is where the cool entrance was. Oh my God, my legs. Oh, look at this. Let's look at here first. Wow. That was so sweaty. I'm dripping. But it was a very good workout. 45 minutes in total. It took us 30 minutes up and 15 minutes down. My legs are so out of energy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, but very well done, Grim. He's eating some grass now. And that's where we were, all the way up there. That's where we were. That was very successful and I am so sweaty. Christopher, 
he's here. He had a good time waiting for me. Thank you so much. I was sleeping. He was sleeping. <laughs> he went like two stairs up into the mine shaft place and just just had a little nap while I was running up there. Look. Grim was a trooper, of course, the athlete. I was not allowed to stop because God forbid he didn't get, you know, fast-paced hike. But we did it in 30 minutes up. 15 down. It's exciting. Now we're gonna go to the boat. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna need a nap. And this is the end of this video. I love Pyramiden. I think we are gonna go back in October as well with our boat and visit and stay the night. Hello, October, it's spooky. I just feel like we have to do this. So I wanna stay in the hotel and I want to go into the buildings and show you everything. I just feel like I'm ready to move to Pyramiden. Okay, maybe not, but I wanna go there a lot more. So that is the plan. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, I would love it if you subscribed and maybe turn on the notification bell and I will see you guys in the next video. So thank you so much for watching and being here. Bye bye.